Marble Catapult by Christian, Dylan, and Ethan. <laughs> Throwing an object over 100 feet can be dangerous, but less dangerous if it's a marble catapult. As you saw in the video, our project was a catapult that throws a small marble. Our main points we will talk about are the force, the acceleration, potential and kinetic energy transfers, and the relation to William and Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. The equation for force equals ma the equation for force is force equals mass times acceleration. In our project, the force was the catapult throwing the marble. The farther you fall down, the more force the catapult puts on the marble, causing the marble to fall further. Acceleration. Lots of things use acceleration. Cars use it. People use it. Even Angry Birds use it. Our catapult is sort of like Angry Birds. You get more acceleration the farther you pull back your catapult before you let go. The only difference is you don't knock the opaques. For the kinetic and potential energy transfers, look at the airplane. At the left point, it has more potential energy than kinetic energy. When it starts to fly, the energies switch, getting more kinetic energy than potential energy, and vice versa when it lands. It's the same way with the marble. When it is setting, sitting at the resting point, the potential energy is the highest, and, but when it starts to fly, the kinetic energy is greater, and it's back to where it starts when it lands. Our relation to William while we were building the, our project was that no one was there really there to help us figure out the best way to make it happen. Of course, we had DLM to let, her, to let us use our things, but in the end, we were the ones who had to figure out in the end, our experiment showed how the force of our catapult accelerated the marble, and how the energy transferred from the catapult to the marble. While we aren't exactly like William, we do feel that we had similar experience. To anyone who wants to try this experiment, may the force be with you. Ah, I get that.